and welcome back to Doodle in the Afternoon. I am super excited for today's drawing tutorial because it is no other than <laughs> Princess Ariel, the beautiful Princess Ariel, and why are we talking? Let's just get right into it. So, um, today, as I said, we are drawing Princess Ariel from Little Mermaid. Very excited. And I just want to get right into the drawing. <laughs> right after we get this lead out. <sighs> Be hey guys, I just got the lead out of my pencil. And let's just get right with into this drawing. So, the first thing you want to do is, of course, draw Princess Ariel's face. So, right here, we're just going to draw, like, a, a tilted, oval-ish shape. Like, here, let me zoom in a little bit for you guys. So, there you go, guys. I zoomed in for you. And what you want to do is you want to just draw a circle or an oval, whatever the shape turns out to be. Just like that, and I hope you guys could see it here. I'll zoom in a little more. Um, just like that kind of shape. And then what we're going to do is we're going to draw a line going, like, tilting down a little bit. Because that is where her bangs are going into, like, on their, it's like her bangs, like right here in this line here. I'll zoom in for you guys a little bit. There you go, that is what it looks like. It's just a little curve, and then it goes in a little bit, and then it goes out, just like that. Pretty simple, pretty nice. So, after you are done drawing that guideline, you just wanna bring it in a little bit, and make it go right here. So you wanna just curve it in, just like that to touch her head just like that and then after you do that you want to shape out the face and what you do is you do a little curve like that hopefully you guys can see it's this curve right here and then what we do is we bring it in because of her eye and then we bring it out for the cheek just like that and then the rest of the guidelines right here is all hair so what we're going to do is we're going to curve in this is more of her hair and then we are going to curve and go out just like that like that and then this is her face like a little small area to work with because she has very really really long hair and it's like going on the bottom like covering her chin her forehead the side of her head like it's covering mostly everything <laughs> and yeah so after you draw that line right here we are going to start placing out the eye lines where they are supposed to be so we're gonna go like that and curve down hopefully you guys could see that i just drew the top eye line it just goes just like this and then after drawing that one you want to go just like a inch and a half under and you want to meet at the bottom just like that and that's how it looks for now those are her eye lines and I'm just gonna go ahead and shape it like, not really shape it up a little bit, just, like, make it a little bit better because it is not the best looking. There we go, because her eyes are pretty big in this photo. So, right here on the left eye, you want to start by doing, like, a bottom of a circle, but it has, like, a little point right here. It just has, like, a little, little, little tiny point. You could barely see it, so don't make it really pointy. And then what you want to do is you want to bring this up just like that and then curve it and bring it down like that. 
it looks weird right now, but it's because we don't have the pupil and yeah. So next you want what you want to do is go like this and just make the eyes a little bit bigger. And I'll go ahead and fix the eyes and see you guys in a minute. So guys, I went ahead and fixed up the eye a little bit because it wasn't looking right, but I fixed it. And yeah, so what you want to do is you want to go inside of the eye. It's on this side. And then you're just going to do a little curve just like that. Hopefully you guys could see. And it's just like a half of a circle or half of an oval, whatever shape you want to call it. And then inside, we're just going to draw a little shine right there in her eye. And then we're going to draw like a little tiny oval right here. And then color it in just like that, guys. And then after you do the eye, you're just going to thicken the eye line a little bit. And then you're going to make her beautiful big lashes. And yeah, so... You just want to, there's no particular order you have to go in to do these eyebrows, eyelashes, <laughs> because her eyelashes are just crazy, they're everywhere, and yeah, this looks super good, yeah, I like it, I like it, and then just going to make the oval a little bit bigger and the shine, and then fix up the eye a little bit and make this more of like a curve like that and then after you do that you're gonna go right here and draw the nose and it's getting cut off right here by her hair just like that and then after doing that you're gonna go right here with her eye and then you're gonna go like this. And then you're gonna go like this. And then you're gonna go in and do like a very tiny little circle. And then you're gonna do a shine. And then you're gonna do a black, the pupil. Just like that, guys. And then right up here is her eyebrow. And it's getting cut off by her veins, so just go like that. And I'll be back once I erased all the guidelines. So guys, I went ahead and erased all the guidelines just to make it easier for you guys to see. And now we're moving on to the hair. So as you remember, we did the guideline for the bangs, and it looks just like that. But then we're going to go down here, and we're going to bring it in like this and it kind of looks like a UFO shape for a second it'll look like a UFO shape just like that like a like a UFO would look like like I said probably 58 times <laughs> and then after drawing that you want to bring it in right here right here at the hairline erase it and then just fix it up a little bit. Oh, my lead broke. And then just like that. And then after doing that, you want to bring this in. And this is the overlap of her face, just like that. And you want to just connect it to that bottom part that's covering the chin and then you want to curve it right here and then right here you want to oh lead broke again oops sorry guys need to fix my lead and then after doing that, you're just going to erase right here, and it'll just open a whole other area. And then you want to go in, like this. And then right here is her arm, like, 
her arm is right here in this part of the picture. Just like that. And then you want to bring the hair like this. And she's coming up out of the water, so her hair isn't just going into the abyss. It's going into the water somewhere. That I do not know where to how to draw the water right yet, but it's okay. Then you're just gonna do that and that and that and that and this. And then right here you're just gonna bring some hair down like that. And then after doing this, I just want to go ahead and grab and then just start coloring in my picture. So right here is my Copic marker in the skin color barley beige. <laughs> and then right so on the arm, we're going to just color it in with the barley beige color because she is like a light skin color and we're just going to color in just like this then we're going to go into the face and then do the same with the barley beige color And then after doing that, we're just going to go like this and keep coloring in the face. If you guys don't have pres uh, Copic markers, it's okay. You don't need to color it. I'm just doing it for fun just to show you guys. Just kept coloring in the face and then let it dry because it does bleed in to the surface you are coloring it on. So you definitely want to be careful of that. Just a reminder, just so you guys aren't surprised by any stain marks in your um, table. And then I'm just going to go ahead and take my um, crimson red color in my Prisma color marker. And I'm going to color her hair, which is going to be fun because that gives us a lot to color. And this blends in, uh, this bleeds, so as you could see right here, which I'm very upset about because this is a brand new desk. And I'm just going to hold it just so I don't get any stains in my table. And I'm just going to keep coloring it in like this. As you can see, I just kept going with the color, and yeah, I'm just going to keep going down, and I'm leaving some white spots because in the picture there is some white spots because of the sun, I guess, that's reflecting on her, so I'm just going to keep going, going. So this part is white, but there is the drawing tutorial of Ariel. I think it came out pretty good, and thank you for watching, and see you this weekend with a art challenge. Bye, guys.